Hey Grace Point, welcome to day two of Saturate. It is my absolute joy to be sharing with you this morning and there's some absolutely awesome videos lined up and I'm very excited to uh, hear them. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't uh, miss them. You'll get the bell notification and you'll be able to watch the videos daily. So the theme for this year is around hope and a future and it comes from Jeremiah 29 11. It says this, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And I'd like to just read a few verses after that because I think it's really relevant for us as we are in Saturate. It says this in verse 12, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. That is such an awesome encouragement as we seek the Lord together over this Saturate. So what I want to share on uh, this morning is our Grace Point value of encounter. We believe life is best lived in response to the unconditional acceptance and complete forgiveness of God. And it's so important for us to encounter God every day. For me, it's really about living out of that place of knowing I'm a child of God and that I'm unconditionally accepted and completely forgiven in Christ. And I know many of you know my story of how I came to faith, but something that has been so profound for me in my life was when I encountered God for the first time. Now, I've had many encounters with God since then, but what has really sticked with me is when I first encountered God, I was carrying so much guilt and shame and I had experienced so much rejection in my life up until that point. Yet, as I walked into the building where youth group was being held, the best way I can really describe it is it was like love waves. It felt like this this incredible love, this incredible acceptance, forgiveness. I felt weightless in God's presence. And on that night, I encountered the living God, and that changed my whole life. And thinking about what it means to live out of response to unconditional acceptance and complete forgiveness of God, I keep on thinking of my daughter. Jesus says in Matthew 18, 3, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, Beatrix knows how to push our buttons, and parenting is really hard, and it's been yeah, challenging over the holiday season when there's no daycare or there's no programs running. We have to fully care for her and uh, parents will definitely know what I'm talking about. But there's there's been some moments where there's been some meltdown moments. And what I always try to do, now I don't always get this right, but when she's having one of those meltdown moments, I'll often just bend down and give her a cuddle and pat her on the back and say, it's okay, it's okay. And sometimes She'll push me away and sometimes she can be super resistant. And just reflecting on on that, thinking about my own relationship with God, do I let him bend down and give me a cuddle in the middle of the crazy storms that life can throw at me? Or am I resistant? Do I push God away and try to fix it by myself because, you know, I'm I'm such a grown-up? But part of me living out of a place of encounter is learning to run to God in every situation and season, just like a child allowing the father to give them a big hug. So in closing, I just want to encourage you with uh, Ephesians 3 verses 17 to 19. It says this, I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and how long how high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Bless you, Grace Point.